A controversial part of North Carolina's abortion law requiring an ultrasound was struck down today. A three-judge panel said it violated a doctor's right to free speech. News 13's Ashley Searles joins us live. This law was intended to reduce the number of abortions, right Ashley? Right, that's what the state lawmakers that passed it intended. They hope that enforcing a woman to see the fetus on the screen and have it described to her, she'd change her mind. She would have to close her eyes, cover her ears, and the doctor would still be forced to go through with it. The North Carolina law struck down unanimously by three U.S. court judges this afternoon required physicians to perform an ultrasound, display the screen, and describe the fetus to any woman seeking an abortion. And if she closed her eyes, they would be forced to tell her what the sonogram looked like. And there were no exceptions for rape, incest, grave fetal abnormalities, no exceptions. And largely because there are none of those exceptions detailed in this law. The Fourth Circuit said that the law, and I'm quoting here, could prove psycholog psychologically devastating. On top of that, the court ruled that the law passed by legislators in 2011 violates a doctor's right to free speech. And we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that this is not uh, two people talking, sitting in chairs. This is, you know, a piece of being compelled uh, in the course of a very invasive medical this is when a woman is uh, half-naked on an exam table for an ultrasound. They have to be forced by a law to do what's right, then so be it. Tammy Fitzgerald, a pro-life advocate, fought hard for the new measure. What's at stake here is uh, a woman being given all the facts before she makes this life-altering decision to have an abortion. The American Medical Association opposed the measure, which, if okay today, would have become one of the strictest abortion laws in the nation. Now, the state has already said that they'll appeal today's ruling to the U.S. Supreme Court. Reporting live tonight in Asheville, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.